welcome back or welcome to my channel so today as you can see by the title and like me i'm gonna be turning myself into a bratz doll and i decided to pick one of my favorite bratz dolls that i ever had which was my yasmin bratz doll from the forever diamonds collection so that's the look that i recreated as you can see and as you can see in the thumbnail i put the picture right here again so y'all can see but this is the look i'm gonna be recreating and you can see the outfit i made the outfit myself okay because i didn't have nothing that looked remotely similar to the outfit that she had so i had to make it and i wanted to be spot on anyway so yeah but um i feel like i did really good y'all i've been wanting to do this video for so long because i love me some brats dolls like as a kid i love me some brats dolls i still love like the brats just the whole that whole era like it was just a vibe it was just a vibe me and my sister we had like all the dolls we had the forever diamonds dolls we had the rock angels with the um red convertible we had the red convertible we had the fashion pixies we had the genies we had the original brats dolls we had the brats babies we had the doll head that you could like do her hair the big head with the with the hair you know i think you could paint her nails too yeah we had all that i think we had um we had a jet too i think i don't know i can't remember but yeah we had all the brats dolls we had everything and i think brats is what really started me like getting into beauty and stuff because like we was always playing with brats dolls and dressing them up doing their hair i will always pick the yasmin doll so yeah one of my favorite looks is the forever diamonds so that's the one i decided to do and i decided to pick yasmin's look so if you were playing with breast dolls you had no breast dolls your childhood would hit no nothing anyway if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching okay so we're gonna start with the hair first uh, i'm gonna be using this brown wig i've already done a video on this wig i'll put it right here yeah i already reviewed this hair but i'm gonna be reinstalling this wig i've already installed it before obviously if i did a review on it duh. but yeah i'm gonna be reinstalling this to do the hair with because obviously yasmin's hair is brown so luckily i have a brown wig and a long one because she has like a long ponytail so um yeah we're gonna do that first i'm gonna just do a quick install because i'm not leaving this hair in so i'm just gonna use some got to be i usually use boho but um uh, that's when i'm wearing wigs for like a long period of time i usually wear my wigs for about two to three weeks but since i'm not doing that i'm just gonna use got to be so i'm gonna clean my forehead with some alcohol where's my alcohol Okay, so I'm gonna put my wig cap on. This is like, I already have makeup on this wig cap because I usually just reuse this one when I'm not like doing a bald cap. So I just use this one that already has makeup on it. Okay, the wig cap is on. Yeah, I'm really just ready to get this look over with because I really want to see how it turns out. I really want to nail this look like I even did the whole outfit. Like I remade the outfit because I didn't have anything like even close to the outfit she had on. I'm just ready to see how it's gonna turn out because I'm excited. I love me some brats, y'all. Like, I had all the brats dolls. I need the light to stay like this because the light keeps going in and out, keeps getting cloudy. But, all right. I'm gonna try installing this in sections because I just want it to lay flat. Okay, it's still like trying to buckle right here. Like, what is up with that? Mm. Okay, now let's try and do these sides. That did pretty good. I didn't expect it to like go so smoothly. Okay, let's do this side right here. I'll be trying to spray like real light with this stuff because I don't want to run it all down my face like. Okay, it's down for the most part. This piece came up right here, but I'm just gonna spray the whole hairline with some of the free spray and tie it down. And then I'm gonna clean all this off because I got glue all on my face. And then I'll be back once 
I'm done because I don't want to keep wasting my battery because we still got to do makeup and outfit and the intro and the outro and I don't have time to recharge my camera. So, all right, I tied the hair down for like 10 minutes and then I cleaned all the glue off my face with some alcohol. So we're all cleaned up now. So we're going to start styling the hair now. She has a um, part on the left side. Yeah, part on the left side and then her hair is like going this way, like slick back this way. And then this part slick back this way and then the ponytail, okay. So we're gonna part it on the left side. Okay, so as y'all can see, obviously this isn't going to lay like this on its own. So we're gonna take our hot comb to like lay it flat so it stays like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna separate like, I wonder how much I should take. Okay, I'm gonna clip this, these sections out of the way. And I'm gonna work on the ponytail part. So I'm gonna try and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this like in a high ponytail and get out the way. So yeah, y'all, this ponytail, it's giving me a hard time. I got irritated, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and lay this part down. So I'm just gonna spray it with some free spray. All right, y'all, this is as good as it's going to get because I'm over it. Okay, this is as good as his hair is going to get. So, we're going to move on to the makeup now because I'm over this point too. Ooh, I know, I know I'm not the only one that get all frustrated when your hair don't do right. Like, ooh. Anyway, it's okay. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I'm actually going to just do my eyebrows off camera since... I already have an eyebrow tutorial and I'm not trying to waste any more of my battery because I already took forever to do this ponytail. So, um, yeah, I'll be back. All right, my camera died. So I'm using my phone, but anyway, in the picture it looks like she has like a brown smoky eye or just like brown eyeshadow, just plain brown. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, medium to dark. It's not showing up that dark, but it's like darker in person. I'm gonna take this black right here for the outer corner. Y'all, it is way darker than this in person. I'm gonna switch to some other lighting when, I'm like, when the whole look is done. Well, I'm gonna apply some eyeliner now. Now I'm about to highlight and do foundation. So I'm gonna start with highlight my concealer. And I just um, highlight in the places I normally highlight and then I put the foundation in the empty spots. Cause I don't know, I just got tired of um, putting foundation everywhere and it's not necessary. 
And I'm taking another concealer that's lighter than my original concealer. And I just put it towards the inner corner of my eyes. And now foundation. All right, now I'm gonna sit with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. All right, while this is sitting, I'm about to contour with my Black Radiant Stream Complexion Contour Palette. Same shade I use on my eyes. All right, now I'm gonna buff this powder out with my foundation brush. And then I'm gonna go over it with this Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger, which is my skin tone. With the lighting changing, y'all, the sun going down, so, you know. All right, and I'm gonna apply some blush. I'm taking the Festival Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm taking this shade over here. Now I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty highlighter in Trophy Wife and my Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I'm gonna mix these to highlight my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, my brow bone and my forehead. I'm gonna put this um, black eyeliner in my waterline. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara and then I'm gonna put on my lashes. Um, if you don't know, I sell lashes. I'll put the link to my website in my bio, but also my big blinks, which are my longer lashes, are all named after brass dolls, if you didn't know that. I'm gonna switch to some better lighting in a minute because I know the sun's going down. I'm gonna take one of my shorter pairs from my Baby Blinks collection on my website. And I'm gonna take the style Flirt. These aren't, the Baby Blinks collection aren't named at the breast dolls, they're just names. These lash applicator tweezers are also on my website. Bougiebeauty.com. Now I'm gonna apply some lip liner. Um, I know in the picture she has like red lip liner, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna look too good on me. So I'm gonna use brown. All right, now I'm gonna take my lip gloss that's also on my website. These are called Lip Candies. Um, I'm gonna be taking this one. I have a red peach tint and a brown tint for like nude. But um, they're all scented. The peach one is called Georgia Peach and it's peach scented. This is Juicy Watermelon, Watermelon Scented. And then the brown one is Chocolate Scented, which is called Cocoa Kisses. So yeah, I'm gonna take the red tinted one. Okay, let's get on to this outfit and let me get y'all this terrible lighting. All right, so here's the outfit. I know y'all look exactly like it 
So um, all I did was just like draw the words with pencil and then I traced it with Gorilla Glue. And then for the dots up here, I just put dots of glue and like circles and then I dumped glitter on it. And there you have it. And that's what I did here also. And this isn't even a belt. This is like, I don't know what this stuff is, that like diamond strip stuff. This came off a gift that somebody gave me. And I remember I had it, so I was like, I'm gonna use this as a belt. Cause I don't have a diamond belt. So yeah. Then we have the earrings right here. I don't know which ones. I think I'm gonna end up using these. But yeah, here it goes. And also these are shorts, not jeans like she has on cause I don't have any jeans this color. So yeah, but don't tell nobody. Cause I'm gonna take the pictures from here up. Okay. All right, I have the outfit on. Only thing I don't have is a little fur thing cause I don't have anything fur that's white. I have some other fur stuff, but it's like black, brown, pink, red. I don't have white, but um, y'all ready to see the outfit? Y'all, did I nail this or what? Like the shirt, shorts. I feel like I did really good with this. <laughs> okay, so I have this piece left for my ponytail in the back. So I'm gonna bring it to the front so it looks like all one thing. Oh yeah, I definitely got it now. Cause hers was like down here. Oh, shit. This is really a look though. Like this is giving me, this hairstyle is giving me early 2000s. I just need some sunglasses. Those are what tinted sunglasses, the brown tinted ones. Y'all, this turned out so good. Like, you know, I got frustrated with the hair or whatever and I don't have my little fur thing. Like, the outfit, the outfit. All right, well, there you have it. This is my Yasmin Forever Diamonds recreation look. I nailed this. Like simply, simple as that period that I nailed this whole look like new. What? Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.